Welcome to the new episode. Today I'm going to be teaching you how DRX is playing Habo on attack on Icebox. So there's not much, let's say, um, diversity when it comes to the way that DRX showed so far how to play Icebox with the Habo. I made a small map of what was being used typically by default on attacking while planting and what is the way that is being uh, like every single piece of utility being used and typically when we see drx attack at the beginning of the round from the barrier they already start using one of the cascades like the cascade that you're seeing here on long b in this position is something that the hub is using from the barrier like this and there's one thing that uh, typically players actually don't remember about when using the harbor the cascade at some point is stopping by itself, right? On the minimap, you see it being indicated by, well, the cascade indicator, right? So when I press uh, when I press the button to use the cascade, it goes to this distance and it just stops, right? So you don't have to think about it because you can stop it by pressing the uh, cascade button again so it stops earlier, right? But when you want to be as efficient as possible you want to just put it there where you want it to be and forget about it and then you can do something else that's typically what drx was doing the hub was just standing in a spot where he can forget about shooting the cascade and reposition himself towards the a side when they were like doing a fake on a now the thing is what does this cascade achieve by using this cascade essentially you always check cubby in this position without being exposed to yellow which is very important, but in general, like it's not that, it's the, it's the most important of this cascade. The cascade is a supplement for the standard Viper B wall. So they have like, um, they build up the early game vision denial by using those two pieces of utility. What is also very important to understand is that it's very surprising to me that Harbor is never being used on mid. Like never. There's always a Viper Smoke being used by DRX to have the control of the mid over the course of the entire round without worrying about reusing the harbor in that position. And I think the main reason why is that being done is because the harbor has the most difficult task in the team to plant the spike, right? And that's the problem that, that the harbor has. If the harbor is dead because he tried to be aggressive on the on the site and then they cannot like really reuse the smoke on on the site the uh, sorry on on the mid uh because of that like I, I, the the uh the high tide can be used on mid the cascade can be used on mid and they put more emphasis because of that on the viper controlling mid also the harbor might not be best at like you know he's on the plan duty but if he wouldn't be and he would be like exchanging the viper on lurking then whenever he uses any key, key piece of his utility, his making his presence known because you know which where from was it being used. So the hub is not the best at lurking because of that. And if you wonder actually which agents are good at lurking, I would recommend watching the compendium on Twitch chat. You can just watch it as exclamation mark compendium. I will put a link in the comment as well. Uh, I explain all of those aspects in the in the compendium here. Um, and you have video explanations of all the roles as well but going back to harbor so essentially it's like a it, the harbor supplements the the sage right um for the safe plans and has a bonus of using the early vision game uh, early vision denial but it's not a game changer i would say it's like you already do something that another agent is doing in this uh, on this map and that's viper right but you fill the gaps because the viper is now hit with the nerf of the fuel so when you're both wall and smoke is up you only last for 10 seconds um sorry for seven and a half seconds on the wall but no it's actually 10 but when when you can have an agent that supplements that wall with another one of his own when the fuel is down for the viper to re refuel you essentially can control the entire b side the entire time right or when you attack a side you don't have to worry about the viper wall because the viper wall can be by default being used on b side to not sell the info where they will be going out that's probably the most important aspect of using harbor on this map is that you essentially give a little bit more freedom of choice for your team even though you might have committed to the viper wall on b and let's be clear like viper wall on a doesn't really do much 
Like when you do a Viper wall on A, it's essentially just, just this. You're gonna put a wall on on screens, and uh, and that's that's it. And you can achieve the same with the uh, with the harbor high tide by just using it on screens and then curve it onto rafters. But there's a problem with the rafters wall because when you use it, it requires a really good mastery of the agent to make sure that you hit the rafters correctly. Because there was one round when the when the um, when the uh, high tide actually gave too much space and went like this. So the players could have hid behind the high tide on rafters, but in general, like it's still more useful uh, than the Viper wall here on A. So the ability to play two walls and just commit to the Viper wall on B almost every single round allows you to fake more rotations and fake more pressure onto B side. So when you combine the uh, the Viper B wall with the Cascade early to control the long and use a drone or an arrow to push away the player from B towards the site, right? Essentially, you build up a lot of confidence in your team to gather more space. But at the same time, DRX never used any lurkers towards uh, towards kitchen, which is very surprising. I'm actually not certain what is happening over here um, because of that. Uh, like, why on earth is, is DRX never taking map control on mid? But it is what it is. We're going to see if the next Icebox will be the same, right? But in general, if you want to play um, Harbor on Icebox and you want to see like how it is being played, your most key, uh, most important key pieces of utility are essentially the Cascade on Long B um, and the wall default wall um, that is being used on um, on the position of sight, essentially kind of like a Viper wall, and that's essentially it. So that's very important to understand. Um, when you're planting also, like how DRX is planting on site is also very important to understand because you never put it on site. You never put the cove like this. Like the problem is that the cove is a is a is not a physical object per se. You can just jump into it as an opponent and stop the plant. So you want to limit the amount of space that the cove is giving to your opponents. So you, what you want to do is you put the cove outside of the site to give yourself less space to plant but it gives also less space for the players to push into you the problem is that the cove takes 13 bullets to destroy right and then the smoke disappears that's why it's so important to have the wall up by the viper and um what drex is doing or rather no one was doing against drex is no one was instantly destroying the cove and if that's going to happen in the future there's gonna be a lot of problems of using this character again on this map. Because when the Viper Wall is up or the high tide is up in this location like this, right? When it's being used like this and then you use the cove to plant, your opponents don't even need to know that there's the cove up because they can just ping this location and just spam it through the wall and they will not even know if the cove is up or not, what is important is just to spam the 30 bullets in that direction and most likely kill the harbor while planting. If one player can stop the plant, and that's already possible, imagine two players spamming the cove. And that's going to be the biggest problem going forward. But what is, like, just just by, you know, looking at, at, at um, looking at the map if, if, with how harbor is being used, it's just very important to understand that you just kind of supplement the Viper and the Sage at the same time. But the biggest uh, biggest difference here is also the fact that you have a proactive utility in form of the ultimate. And DRX, so far, as an execute, I have seen only it being used on A. So essentially, when they do the ultimate on A, the Cascade is being used to to cut off maze and then the ult checks the entire site and the cove is not being used for planting because they know the site is clear and no one is standing on stairs as well because they are being affected by the ultimate so essentially the ult gives them free space on site and then we have seen also the the ultimate being used on b side during a retake of the opponents just to stop them from pushing so i really like the fact that harbor's ultimate is way more useful than sage but again we didn't see a lot of teams yet counter the harbor pick from DRX and Talon. And Talon, who apparently made this uh, composition that DRX just kind of got and perfected, um, they still had this, uh, they, they were a little bit better 
at countering it, Stax had a problem with planting on A side on the headshot. Like typically what was it, what was happening is that Stax was going A side and was using the standard um high tide on screens and then on rafters. I am not a harbor main, so I might not Yeah, I missed it. Let's do it again. I might not make it. Like, kind of like this, right? You cover the screens, and then you go onto rafters, and then the rafters is, like, almost a straight line. It's so hard to master this agent. That's why it's so, you know, it's probably not going to be picked as a flex. And then the then this the cove is being used on the headshot here to give a little bit of space to plant on top. But the problem is, this spot is so easily destroyed. Like, if you just ping this and shoot through this wall, right... You're just gonna destroy the sage, uh, sorry, the, the cove from Harbor very fast. And if you have two players over here, that plant is gonna be dead. And we have seen stacks die in this position just because of this plant uh, and this and this um, spam from here. Imagine that of being comboed with a Viper snake bite to put the debuff on the player. It's gonna be really tough. So I feel like the two first matches by DRX were very successful because teams. One team, Cloud9, had absolutely no idea how to adjust. They didn't do anything to adjust to the fact that DRX was never taking mid and never adjusted to the fact that the plants were different than normal because it was top side and the corner. Talon was better at countering it, but still not that great. Uh, but the next teams might actually really counter that very fast. Um, but yeah, hope I teach you guys something uh, in how DRX executes with the harbor. It's harbor still more useful than a sage, but definitely less, less um, certain about the plants than with the sage wall. Thank you for watching. See you guys around.